We are here in the fourth annual symposium on regenerative medicine, and we are joined by Dr. Christopher Evans, which is the professor in physical medicine and rehabilitation and orthopedic at Mayo Clinic, and also the director of the Rehabilitation Medicine Research Center. So Dr. Evans, uh, as a part of the symposium, have given a wonderful presentation regarding regeneration of cartilage in some uh, degenerative uh, uh, joint disease. And I would like to ask Dr. Evans, he can give us a summary of his presentation. Right, well thank you Carmen. So um, cartilage is unusual tissue because it's one of the few organs in the body that has absolutely no ability whatsoever to repair itself after injury and it's frequently injured as a result of uh, sporting activities, motor vehicle accidents, and is also damaged by diseases such as arthritis. So the question is, what do you do with a tissue that can't repair itself under any circumstances, has no stem cells, no blood supply, no lymphatics, and no nerve? So when we're trying to develop ways to repair this tissue, we have to be pretty inventive. And we have to introduce cells, because it has no stem cells. Uh, we have to introduce the signals that tell those stem cells to become cartilage cells or chondrocytes and we have to do it all in a controlled fashion and we have to stop the blood supply from coming in and keep the nerves out. Um, and all of this is quite demanding. So the, there are several approaches you can take to this but the one our lab concentrates on is one where we try to develop technologies that can be implemented in the operating room in a single procedure. So nothing has to leave the operating room and nothing has to get grown outside the body. And what we do is we take bone marrow, we're looking at muscle which has uh, progenitor cells and, and we also look at fat which is a rich source of stem cells. And we genetically modify them to produce their own factors that will make them become cartilage. And the reason we use gene transfer, gene therapy, is that if we're doing all this in a single surgery, we don't have the luxury of time with which to groom these cells to become what they, we want them to become. We have to give them a single shot of something that will stay with them for the weeks and months it takes for them to decide to become cartilage cells and to turn into those cells and make new cartilage. So when we put a gene into these cells, the instructions present in that gene will remain with the cells for the requisite length of time and will remain active and produce us the effect we want. So we're doing this now in animal models and if they're successful uh, we'll obviously take this into human clinical trials. Thank you very much Dr. Evan and again this is the fourth annual symposium on regenerative medicine and Dr. Christopher Evan was a part of the symposium and thank you very much. Thank you Carmen.